<clears throat> okay, getting my screen ready. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yeah! If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything's okay. Before I start, I need to know if you can see me, if you can see me, if you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat. That way I know everything's a-okay. Oh, Gosh says yes, thank you, Gosh. Hello, you all, hello, you all. Kadeen, hello, Tetsuro, hello. All right, so you can see me, you can hear me, so things are working as they should. Samuel, thank you, Gosh, thank you. All right. Uh, Truy, hello, thank you for saying yes. Okay, well, you know what we do. We always have a toast for good luck. So let's start our class with a toast. Yes, hello, Cecilia. So whatever you're drinking, please pick it up for our toast. Umesh, hello, thank you. All right, some of your names I can't pronounce. But um, thank you for being here with me. And we're going to have a toast for good luck. Actually, we're going to have two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. You see them. Their names are green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mm. Our second toast. It's for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Ah, very good. Candy's in the house. Hello, Candy. Okay. All right, all right. Emir, hello. Let's see. Uh, Nuin, hello. Let's see. Amadio, um, uh, hello. Okay, good, good. Mean, hello. All right. Well, um, about today's lesson, yeah, today's class. Here is the paper with today's lesson plan. <clears throat> We're going to do three activities today. We're going to review yesterday's form a sentence, and we're going to watch a video and do a worksheet right here. This is today's worksheet, 10 very short conversations. There are uh, conversations, patterns, and examples. Conversation, pattern, example, and you will be writing sentences based on the patterns you can get the worksheet on my Patreon right there. Support me there. Get the worksheets. All of, the, all of our worksheets we do in our live stream classes are there on my Patreon. Support me there. Get all the worksheets. Yes. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and start our first activity. And that is um, form a sentence. Number one. Form a sentence. All right. And so <clears throat> now um, it, it's actually you're going to answer a question. What did you buy? But I, I want you to use, there, we're going to use three keywords. What? Where and when. So in your sentence, in your answer, you're going to use, you're going to say what you bought, where you bought it, and when you bought it. So you're going to answer these three questions in one sentence. So the question is, what did you buy? Your answer is going to include three, these three 
keywords or you know it's going to answer these questions what did you buy where did you buy it when did you buy it in one sentence so i will give you an example what did you buy and then i bought let's see i bought a shirt okay i bought a shirt at gap at the gap i think it's is it gap at gap the gap yeah at the gap that's the name of the store i bought a shirt at i think we just yeah okay at the gap yesterday for example okay so this sentence includes these three I answered these three questions right what did I buy I bought a shirt where did I buy a shirt at the gap when did I buy it yesterday all right so we can give okay this is gonna be a cross this one's gonna be an asterisk and this will be a uh, uh, an X okay so what did I buy a shirt when did or where did I buy it at the gap and um, when did I buy it yesterday so I answered these three questions okay so what did you buy and then for example I bought a shirt at the gap yesterday okay okay um, let's see okay I'm looking at the chat Umesh says I bought mangoes from the market yesterday hello s o s n I bought a I bought okay Christmas okay Christmas decoration I bought a Christmas decoration okay okay that that's fine okay I bought a Christmas decoration at a local shop in the morning okay so maybe you want to you, you need to use uh or the or you can use my I bought a Christmas decoration at my local shop in the morning or you can say I bought a Christmas de decoration at the local shop in the morning or you can say I bought a Christmas decoration at a local um, at a local shop in the morning but you need to use a uh, or the or my before local Tetsuro I bought a bottle of coffee at Amazon one week ago very good Carla I bought some tomatoes today at price right market okay so price right is the name of the market so you need to have the uppercase P and R Umesh I bought shirtings and suiting from the modern tailor last okay I shirtings I don't know you we I bought a shirt and a suit okay Samuel hello I bought some bread at the bakery yesterday breads we use um we, we use bread as singular uncountable so i bought some bread kidding i bought some tomatoes at the market near my house this morning nice sentence knowing i bought some carrots today at the supermarket very good <clears throat> let's see amadio i bought a phone at the mobile king store today at 145 very good candy i bought a christmas present for my friend yesterday very good <clears throat> i bought some coffee at a cafe this morning i bought some vegetables at the market okay when so let's we want to answer these three questions here what did you buy where did you buy it when did you buy it I bought a Christmas cake at Costco one month ago. 
Oh, those are like big cakes, huh, Tetsuro? Those are big cakes. <laughs> Costco has big sizes, only big sizes at Costco. All right, um, Pei Sai, I bought a ball <clears throat> at the city center last Friday. Umesh, I bought a vase from, <clears throat> from the department store last month. Amir, I bought a skateboard at the store today. Cecilia, I bought a bottle of latte at a cafe last week. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to do, we don't have time today, but we're gonna have to go over the, the um, uh, what were they called? Um, oh, I'm forgetting the word, but we gotta start. We gotta practice ah uh, and the uh, determiners. <clears throat> okay. We use ah uh, and the uh, before nouns. And um, ah uh, is something that it could be any, like if you say a store, uh, I bought a ball, I bought a shirt. So you're not using specific um, items or I don't know which one you're talking about. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Where da is, um, a, we know, we both, the, the speaker and the listener knows what, where the place is, or what the thing is, or, um, yeah. So for example, let's say we live in the same city and we know there's one park. Let's say there's one park in our town. We both know the park, where that is, and so we use the, right? I went to the park. So I know the place, you know the place, we both know the park, where the park is, what park it is. However, if your town has many parks, many different parks, and I don't know exactly which one you're talking about, and you're going, and, and I ask you, uh, what are you going to do today? Oh, I'm gonna to go to a park. So we're not, we're not saying um, a specific park, we're not, we're just saying, in general, like some park, right? There, there are many parks, I'm going to go to one of them. I'm going to go to a park. So we, we need, you have to use these, right? So here, a shirt, right? I bought a shirt, so I didn't tell you uh, which shirt I bought. I didn't tell you, oh, it's a blue shirt. You know, I bought, you know, a, a red shirt. I didn't, I just bought a shirt. So I'm not, I didn't give you too much information. I just told you what I bought. I didn't go into detail. I bought a shirt. So shirt is a noun. And so I'm saying a shirt, right? And it's singular one. Um, the Gap, that's the name of the store, right? So this is, uh, The Gap is the name of the store. There's, it's a specific, specific place, right? It's a proper noun. The Gap. There's one store called The Gap, and um, right there's a chain of them. For example, you have The Gap. I went to, um, and then, uh, yeah. So anyways, that's the name of the store. So The Gap, I went to The Gap yesterday. I bought a shirt at The Gap yesterday. So we, the, we use ah uh and the before noun. So, so please, um, Include ah uh, and da in your sentences. So yeah, so uh, yo, I bought a green tea at the internet store last week. Okay, good. Tetsuro, I bought two pieces of grilled chicken at a co-op last month. Very good. Nora, I bought some food at the supermarket for Christmas dinner. Very good. Let's see, Umesh, I bought fruit from... I bought, let's see, Umesh, I bought fruit from a fruit shop yesterday. Okay, I bought fruit from a fruit shop yesterday. Fruit shop is a noun, so you have to have a. 
Lisa, good morning. Hello, Lisa. Okay, Cory. Hello, Cory. Tetsuro, I bought a Christmas cake at Costco last week. Perfect. So, so Tetsuro fixed his set. Ah, uh, Christmas cake. Hazy, I bought some horror books at the bookshop yesterday. Very good. I bought some food in the supermarket. Okay, uh, Lisa, please win. So we're, our sentences include these three, um, answering these three keywords. What, where, when. So for example, what a shirt. Where, at the gap. And um, when, yesterday. So um, Lisa, you don't have when. So you have what, you bought some food. And then you have where, at the supermarket, but you don't have when. Candy, I bought popcorn at Disneyland. Okay, Bella, I bought chopsticks at the store last month. SOSN, I went to Costco, I bought, I bought oil and cheese, very good. Okay, Jay, I bought a globe at the grocery store last night. Mercy, I bought fruitcake for dessert at Walmart. Okay, you didn't, Mercy, you didn't have when. So you have what and where, but you don't have when. Tetsuro, I bought a kayak at a grocery store a few days ago. Kayak at a grocery store? <laughs> kayak is... Like, it's not a boat, but it's, it's, you know, you sit in it and you can um, move on the water. <laughs> Kayak. Okay, Umesh, I bought a bag of rice from the supermarket yesterday. Very good. Elda, I bought some fish at the supermarket yesterday. Good. Lisa, I bought some food in the supermarket yesterday. Very good. Mercy, I bought fruitcake for dessert at Walmart yesterday. Very good. Kadeen, I bought a... Uh, um, Panettone at the market. Yes. Okay. I don't know what panettone is. Maybe it's some kind of sandwich or something. Some kind of bread item. Or is it pasta? It's either. I'm thinking it's either some sandwich or pasta. I don't know why. <laughs> but Kadeen's in Brazil. So it's Brazilian food. Umesh. I bought a jar of jam from the market two days ago. All right, everyone. Good, good. Well, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activity. So um, we, we did this yesterday. So uh, I just want to review this because I think this is good information for you. And it will make a nice sentence for you if you include these three, um, these three, if you answer these three questions, what, where, when in your sentence. And you can communicate better, right? Clearer, right? Okay, let's go on to our next activity. And that will be a video and worksheet. Video and worksheet. So number two, 10 very short conversations. And we'll do a video and worksheet. And this is actually number three. So we did one and two already. Now this is three. And um, like I said, the worksheet is on my Patreon page. Go there, support me there, and you get the worksheets. All the worksheets we do in our live stream classes every week. They are there on my Patreon. So um, there are links in the description. Go there, support me there, and you get the worksheets. Okay, so first let's watch the video, and then we will do the worksheet. Okay, so I'm going to put the video on the screen, and we will practice the video together. The first part, we will say the sentences. The second, together. So part one, we're going to say the sentences together three times. We'll say each sentence 
three times, and then in the second part, we will take turns. All right, so I will be A, you will be B. Okay, that's how it will work. Okay, so let's, let's display the video so we can practice it together. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna enlarge. Um, okay, yeah, Yule has a, a good question. In the market or at the market? Um, it kind of depends on, so if I'm talking to you, let's say I give you a call. And uh, Yule, where are you? And you're in the market. Oh, I'm inside the market, I'm in the market, okay. And however, if we're both not in the market, and I ask, oh, where are you going? Oh, I'm going, no, um, I'm going to the market. Okay, no, let me think of a situation. Um, yeah, at the market, in the market, yeah, they're the same. I usually use at, I use at more than in, but um, yeah, they're both fine. We, we, we understand when you say I'm in the market, yeah, I understand. If you say I'm at the market, yes, I understand. So they both basically the same. So, okay, good. All right, let's check out the video. Okay, here we go. Let's move it forward here. Okay, so we're set three, like I said. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Let's say the sentence together three times. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Hello. <laughs> A little greeting at the beginning. <clears throat> Let's eat here. Let's eat here. Let's eat here. Sure. 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 Let's eat here. Sure. Sure, that means yes, right? <clears throat> when you say sure, that means yes, I agree. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Ouch, what's the matter? Right, so ouch is, that's a word when we have pain. So if you feel pain, you say ouch. And um, what's the matter? You're asking about the person's Pain, right so um, when someone says ouch we don't know um, what pain they are talking about right um, ouch that could be you know they hurt their leg or foot hand finger whatever we don't know and then so we ask what's the matter so someone says ouch so you should say oh what's the matter uh, where is your pain right why why are you in pain? Hello, Nadia. Sam, good morning. Okay, here we go. Let's have some bread. Let's have some bread. Let's have some bread. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's have some bread. That's a good idea. Oh, 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 okay, um, why are you in pain? Yeah, so good. Why are you in pain? So we say in pain. Um, let's have some bread. So that's a suggestion. So the, the man is suggesting, oh, um, let's have some bread. I think bread will um, taste good. <laughs> I think we should have bread. And, and then the woman 
agrees. That's a good idea. I agree with you. Bread sounds good. Let's have bread. Oh, oh Lisa, I have, um, no, we would say my back hurts. Or I have, um, maybe Lisa, I have a back pain. Or we would say, um, I hurt my back. Or you could say, I have a backache. That's probably better, Lisa. I have a backache. Backache, that's one word, backache. When's your flight? When's your flight? When's your flight? Yeah, good. Uh, why are you in pain? Perfect. It departs at 6.10. Thank you, Tetsuro. It departs at 6.10. It departs at 6.10. When's your flight? It departs at 6.10. So when, what time, right? So we're asking time. When's your flight? What time does your plane take off? When are you leaving? What time are you leaving? And um, the answer, it departs at 6.10. So, for, for airlines, for the airport, when you're flying, you, you use depart for leaving, and you use arrival when you, um, when you land. So, when the, when the plane is taking off, when it is going up, <laughs> when it is, is going up in the air, that is depart. And then when it is landing, when the plane is coming down, to the ground that is arrive. So depart, arrive. So when is your flight, um, when does it depart? When does it arrive? Yeah, so Lisa, like my back hurts. My back hurts, for example, or I have um, a backache, I have a backache. This is my grandfather and grandmother. This is my grandfather and grandmother. Yes, exactly. This is my grandfather and grandmother. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my grandfather and grandmother. Nice to meet you. It's really hot today. It's really hot today. It's really hot today. Let's go to the pool. Let's go to the pool. Let's go to the pool. It's really hot today. Let's go to the pool. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing. What are you doing? I'm relaxing. Why are you so nervous? Why are you so nervous? Why are you so nervous? I have an important meeting today. I have an important meeting today. I have an important meeting today. Why are you so nervous? I have an important meeting today. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yep, see you. Yep, see you. Yep, see you. So, yep means yes. So, you can say yep, 
that's that's uh, just friendly talk. That's informal. That is um, like between friends, right? Coworkers. Yep. See you. Yep. See you. See you tomorrow. Yep. See you. Yep. Okay. Now let's uh, do it together. Or no, actually, we're going to take turns. Yep. Let's take turns. Good afternoon. Let's eat here. Ouch! Let's have some bread. When's your flight? Oh, Lisa, hold on. I'll answer your question. Wait, Lisa. Good question, Lisa. Wait. This is my grandfather and grandmother. It's really hot today. What are you doing? Why are you so nervous? See you tomorrow. Oh, okay, hold on. So um, Lisa in the chat, she, she asked me, um, can I use yep in school? And I would say my answer to Lisa is between your friends, of course. Yep. Um, are you hungry? Yep. Um, <laughs> um, do you want to, uh, you, do you want to go to the library? Yep. So that's, that's great. But with your teacher, you should say yes. <laughs> okay, Lisa? So with your um, teacher, please use yes. But with your classmates, your friends, go ahead and use yep. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so let's now, let's switch, okay? So you will go, you will say the first sentence, and then I will say the second sentence, all right? So... Let's um, switch now. So let's go back and you will, you'll go, you'll say the second sentence. No, you'll say the first sentence. I will say the first. So you start.
Hello. Thank you, Tetsuro. Okay, good, Lisa. Sure. What's the matter? That's a good idea. It departs at 6.10. Nice to meet you. Let's go to the pool. I'm relaxing. I have an important meeting today. Yep, see you. <laughs> yep, see you. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that was the video. So now let's do the worksheet. Okay, and I will put the worksheet on the, whoop, there it is, okay. Here's the worksheet, so um, let's do the worksheet and how it works on top is the hints, right? The keywords, the patterns, and then down below you write the, the, your sentence, right? But here in our live stream, you're going to write your sentences in the chat. And again, one more time, if you want the worksheet, it is on my Patreon page, okay? And there's a link for it in the descriptions. So let's make the worksheet larger so we can see easier. Okay, and so these are the, the pattern, these are the uh, conversations in the video. And there are 10. So here we can look at, right? So here, for example, at the top, we have the conversation, and then below we have the pattern and an example. So we have conversation, pattern, example. Conversation, pattern, example. So let's look at them. Okay, here we go. So the converse, number one, the conversation, good morning, hello. And the uh, pattern, good. Example, good to see you. Number two, let's eat here, sure. Pattern, let's. Example, let's get lunch. Number three, conversation, ouch, what's the matter? Pattern, what's. Example, what's going on? I'm gonna make it a little larger. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Number four, conversation. Let's have some bread. That's a good idea. Pattern, let's have. Example, let's have more. Conversate number five, conversation. When's your flight? It departs at 610. Pattern, when. Example, when are you leaving? Number six, conversation. This is my grandfather and grandmother. Nice to meet you. Pattern, this is. Example, this is my first time here. Number seven, conversation. It's really hot today. Let's go to the pool. Pattern, it's. Example, it's sunny today. Number eight, conversation. What are you doing? I'm relaxing. Pattern, what? Example, what are you going to wear today? Converse, number nine, conversation. Why are you so nervous? I have an important meeting today. Pattern, why? Example, why did you do that? Number 10, conversation. See you tomorrow. Yep, see you. And the pattern, yep. And example, yep, I can go. And then you can see here. And then you write your own. For example, good to see you, good to see you too, right? So you write your own conversations below. Okay, so in the chat, I want to see your, your um, patterns. So we have patterns. So good, let's, what's, let's have, when, this is, okay. All right. Tetsuro is on the board. Good day. Hello. Very good. Lisa, when are you going to see your grandmother? Tetsuro number two, let's go to the museum. Sure. Trolli, hello. Good morning. Good to see you. Tetsuro number three, ouch. What happened? Very good. Lisa, why are you shivering? Good, 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 Lisa. Shivering, that means very cold, right? Your body is shaking. When you are very cold, your body shakes, and we call that shivering. Very good, Lisa. Cecilia, good morning, hello. Candy, good to see you again. Kadeen, good to see you here. Good to see you too. Hello, Majid, hello. Cecilia, let's get brunch. Sure, I like brunch, Cecilia. I like it, I like brunch. Brunch is breakfast, lunch together. So they put the two words together. Breakfast, lunch, brunch. That means it's a early lunch or late breakfast. We do that maybe on Sundays, you have your free day on Sunday, let's go out and have brunch. All right. Uh, Umesh, good evening. Yes, this is a lovely evening. Umesh, yes, this is a lovely evening. Tetsuro, let's go shopping for new, okay, now Tetsuro, clothes, right? You can't use a uh, with plural more than one. So no a, uh, Tetsuro. Let's go shopping for new clothes. That's a good idea. Trolley, let's go to the hotel. Sure. Samuel, let's go to the pub. Sure, why not? Good, Samuel. Trolley, what's, what happened? So what's, what is, okay, so Trolley, what is happened? No, no, no what is happening or what happened. So for your happened, we don't have the um, is, just what happened. Cecilia, ouch, what's the problem? Good. Trolley, let's have some tomatoes. Good idea. Tetsuro, when's your 
When's your bullet train? It departs at 6.10. Very good. Um, bullet train, everyone, in Japan, we have a famous bullet train called the Shinkansen in Japan. Very convenient. Expensive, though. The bullet train in Japan is expensive, but it gets you where you want very quickly, very convenient. I like the bullet train, but it's expensive. Yo, it's, it's raining heavily. Okay, yo, it's raining heavily. So it is, so that means it's happening now. So you need to have ing. It's raining heavily. Umesh, let's get some fries. Yes, sounds good. Amir, let's go grab something. I'm hungry. Yes, sure. Very good, Amir. I like it. Nice conversation, Amir. Tetsuo, let's go shopping for new clothes. Yes. Tetsuo is always fixing his sentences. So um, that's how we improve. We fix our mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. So good job. Nora, good night. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Candy, let's go to the beach. Sounds good. Kareen, let's lunch here. Okay, good. I like this restaurant. Um, let's lunch here. I understand. Kareen, it's better to say let's have lunch here. So um, put a have there. Let's have lunch here. But uh, lunch, let's lunch here. I, I understand, but um, we need a have. When are you arriving? It, okay, now, um, when are you, okay, so you, that's a person. So I arrive in an hour. Um, for example, the airplane, that is a it, right? So when does, um, when's, your, when's your flight, it departs at 610. So that means it is for the airplane, but when you say, um, um, when are you arriving? So um, then you would say, I am arriving in an hour. I am arriving in an hour. Tetsuo, this is my co-workers. Okay, co-workers, that's more than one. So um, these are my co-workers and boss. Umesh, what's wrong? My phone went down. Good, Umesh. Hazy, let's go hang out. I agree. I like it. Cecilia, let's have let's have tongue twists. That's a good idea. <laughs> let's let's do some tongue twisters. Let's do some tongue twisters. Let's do some tongue twisters. When it's raining, it's okay. Raining, trolley. When we don't use when because. We can't control the wind or the rain, so you don't use uh, when. You can say, when did it start raining? Okay, truly, when did it start raining? It started raining at 6. That's okay, that's good. When did it start? Jay, I'm watching YouTube. Yay. Lama, let's have dinner tonight. Sounds good. Umesh, when is the match? It's on Monday. Maji, I have bought material for my job. Yeah, okay. I, mm -hmm. Cecilia, when are you landing? Okay, landing, Cecilia, is you're coming down, right? And, and so arrive. So when are you landing? Okay, now use you. So you need to say, I am arriving. Okay, Cecilia, when are you landing? Um, I'm arriving at. Okay, Carla, what are you doing? I'm learning English right now with Mark. Ah, oh, perfect sentence, Carla. Mwah, kisses for you. Okay, okay, Candy, what happened? What? No, 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 we can't say what's happened. Um, what happened? Or you can say what's happening? What's happening? Oh, gosh. What's the problem? Nice, Katie. Lama, let's have lunch together. Good. Cecilia, it's really windy outside. Let's go to the pool. <laughs> oh, boy. That means it's a little chilly, maybe. Okay, Cecilia, that's, that's fine. That's cool. <laughs> Umesh, 
This is my father and mother. Nice to meet you, Guru Mesh. Lisa, what's the matter? I don't know how to elevate my mood. Okay. Oh, okay, I don't know how to um, elevate my mood. Okay, not elevator, but elevate, elevate. Samuel, when is your party? It's tonight at 7 p.m. Good, Samuel. Um, okay, Maria, that's a good idea. So we need a other. Uh, that's a good idea. Okay, Kadeen, let's have lunch here. Perfect. Cecilia, what happened? I'm relaxing. <laughs> okay, I'm arriving in an hour. Yes, perfect. Carla, nice to meet nice to meet your grandmother and grandfather. Nice. Uh, Tetsuro, what are you doing without saying anything? I'm relaxing. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing without saying it or doing anything? Or what are you doing? Or um, so she's angry because he's doing. Not, he's not doing any housework. So maybe uh, what are you doing? Not doing any housework. Or what are you doing by doing nothing? <laughs> what are you doing? Doing nothing. What are you doing? Doing nothing. What are you doing? Doing nothing. I'm relaxing. What are you into? Or what are you up to? Sorry, 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 Umesh. Good. What are you up to? Nothing much. Perfect. I like it. I like it, Umesh. Candy, let's have some cookies and coffee. Yes. Let's have some cookies and coffee. Okay, I'm, I'm moving it up here to, we can see number 10 here. There we go. There's number 10. All right, Samuel. This is my favorite beach. This is my first time here. Good, Samuel. Cecilia, why are you so serious? I have an important meeting today. Good, Cecilia, I like it. Good sentences, everybody. Nice, we could all learn from each other. Again, in the chat here, lots of great English, lots of great words, great sentences, great little conversations. We are all learning together. Cecilia, why are you so serious? Okay. Tetsuro, why do you look pale and worried? Nice. Nelson, hello, Nelson. What are you doing? I'm relaxing. Good, Nelson. Umesh, why are you, okay, why are you, you, excited? Because I'm going to discover a new element. So why are you? Samuel, what are you doing? I'm learning English. Tetsuro, these are my coworkers and boss. Good, Tetsuro. Um, Carla, it's really hot today. Let's buy ice cream. Sounds good, Carla. Bella, good morning. This is my best friend, Mark. Let's all go to the movies. I like it. Bella, nice sentence, nice conversation. Mwah. Umesh, it's really cold. Yes, I agree. Okay. These are great sentences. We're, we're on a little roll. These are all great. Perfect. Candy, nice. What happened? Yes, Candy. Tetsuo, what are you doing? Doing nothing. Yeah. What are you doing? Doing nothing. That's good. Umesh, what are, okay, you, what are you doing? I'm studying physics. Okay, um, what's a pattern? So it's very simple. It's basically, um, a few key words and you can put in different um, vocabulary, right? So actually that's a good, that's a good, actually that's a good question because I, I always use pattern and I teach by using patterns. This is my, this is I think is, is the best way to learn English. Um, you know, remember patterns, use patterns and you will be able to communicate in English and that's a good question. What is a pattern? And it's very simple. They're just uh, a, a keywords where you can put different words in to uh, make a sentence. So, for example, in, in right here, we have all these patterns here. Let's, what's, right? And so, we just hear what's. 
right? And so, and so this is the start of our pattern. Finish the sentence. You, you could call it different things, but I, I call it a pattern. What? And, and so, for example, it depends on the situation. So let's say, um, and what equals what is, right? And um, it's a question word. So, and it depends on the situation. So I use pictures. So the pictures give you a context, gives you a situation, right? Where are you? Uh, what, what is happening? What is the, the, the situation? So, for example, we are in the kitchen. Let's say we're in the kitchen. And so we start with what? And so that's our pattern, what? And, and so we're in the kitchen and somebody's doing something, right? In the kitchen. So you would say, oh, um, uh, what, what is that? What is that? Let's say, what's that? Okay, what's that? What's that? And then, oh, it's, it's a salad. Okay, and then um, maybe your next would be um, another what. Um, maybe what's in, okay, we could use what's again. What's in the salad? What's in the salad? Right, and so, and, and so just using these um, key words, the, these little patterns, you can communicate by just putting in, depending on the situation, putting in different um, vocabulary words, different different words, right? So if you're in a bank, and then um, what is, so, um, or maybe we wouldn't use what, what or where, where should I go? Um, where is the bank teller? So it depends on just where you are and what words to use. And so the patterns. So that's what a pattern is. And so you could see, so we have good and then you write and then finish the, the sentence. Let's, what's, let's have, when, this is, it's, what, why, yep. So. Who asked me what's a pattern? Forgot. Oh, okay. Um, Amadio. Amadio, I think you're, Amadio, are you from the Congo? I remember you maybe yesterday. Are you from the Congo? Perhaps. Okay, let's, let's see. Now I need to look at the chat now. Let's see. Oh, okay, Uma, we'll start here with, um, oh, okay, Tessero, number 10, see you tomorrow. Yep, I couldn't agree more. Good, Nelson, why are you so nervous? I have an important meeting today, Umesh. Why do you laugh? I remembered something. Yeah, or actually, Umesh, why are you laughing? Oh, I remembered something. That's good, good, Umesh. Why are you laughing? is better. Okay, Maj, what do you do tomorrow? I am going to work in another area. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm just nervous, good. Today it's cool, good. That means it's, it's, it's not cold, it's not warm, it's in between. <laughs> Nelson, what are you doing? I am studying English with teacher Mark. Yes, thank you, Nelson. Lisa, I have a job interview. Is that true? Is that true, Lisa? Okay. Oh, Mona is late. Yeah, we're almost finished, Mona. We are finishing up here. Okay, Umesh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you. Lama, what are you doing tomorrow morning? I'm going to work. I'm going to work. What do you think about your city? Okay, number five, Candy. 
When is your store open? Matsura. Hello, Matsura. Carla, what did you eat today? <laughs> okay, good. Lisa, oh no. Okay, good. You're just practicing. Yeah, maybe you're a student. Yeah, Lisa? Maybe you are a student still in school, but you will have a job interview one day. Okay, good job, everybody. Let's have garlic bread. Yes, I like garlic bread, Matsura. That's a good idea. Carla, what do you think about us? I think you guys are doing great. I, I'm very happy. Carla, nice question. So Carla asked, what do you think of us? So everyone in the chat, I think I'm lucky because I have wonderful people with me every week and um, everyone's friendly together. Everyone's help each other. We all are helping each other and I have no problem with the chat. Everyone's respectful. Everyone's friendly. We're kind, we help each other. So I think um, you guys are great. I, I think you guys are, I think you write great sentences. I think you're using English um, in, a, in, a, in a, a way that's easy for us to understand each other. I think we are communicating with each other. I think that is the key. Remember, it's not complexity, it's, it's not, it's not using big words. The, the, you know, the, the purpose is to communicate with each other. So we want to, um, you know, we want each other to, to understand each other. So we don't have to use big words. We, we can just use words that we both understand and we can all communicate together. So um, I think that's what we do here in the chat. I think we're able to communicate with each other, right? You write sentences and I read your sentences and I understand what you are saying. So we are communicating. So I think um, that that's great. And that's the purpose. That's why we're here. We're here to practice English. We're here to communicate with each other. And I, we're doing it. We're doing it. So hats off to you. Hats off. Mwah. Great, great, great. Okay. Oh, no, Lisa says she's like, no, I'm lucky that you're here with me, right? Like I always say, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So you guys are great. I'm lucky that you're here with me where, um, yeah, so I'm able to be here. You know, I'm here three days a week. You're here three days a week with me. And so it's successful, right? Because... Um, you're here, I'm able to be here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, no more. We, we love each other. I love you, yes. Peace and love, everybody, yes. <laughs> we love each other, and we're here um, because we enjoy each other's company. Yes, I enjoy being here. I hope you enjoy being, I think you enjoy being here, too. <laughs> we all love each other, yay. That's the, that's the, 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 the main purpose, yeah. Love and peace is where it's at. That's how it, that's, we want the world to be like our chat. If the world was like our chat here, there would be no problems in the world. We would all get along. We would all <laughs> love each other. We would all be happy. We would all smile and the world would be peaceful and joyous. <laughs> okay, I think I should stop talking now. Ah, Lisa, thank you. Everyone, thank you so much. Mwah. Love you, love you. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, today I live in Japan, and it is Saturday here. And um, I will see you next time on Tuesday, December 13th, I think it will be. That will be Tuesday, 5 p.m. Japan time. I live in Japan, so when I say 5 p.m., that means Japan time. Oh, the poll, Tetsuro, thank you. I'm always forgetting the poll. So in the, in the chat, the blue box above the chat, there is a poll, so we can't forget that. So I asked you to finish the sentence and let's have a look, 
68 people voted. Thank you so much, everyone. Mwah. So the blue box above the chat, I, want, I asked you a question. What did you buy so today? So that's it right here. What did you buy today? And there are some three examples and then one your own answer. So um, let's see. The, the most popular, 51%, you said, I bought tomatoes at the market. Question was, what did you buy today? And the, the most popular answer was, I bought tomatoes at the market. 51% of you said that. Then number two was, I bought a shirt at the store. I bought a shirt at the store, 22%. Then it was something else, 15%. So in the chat, you tell me what you bought today. And then the fourth choice was, I bought a newspaper in town. I bought a newspaper in town. 12% of you said that. So what did you buy today? And um, thank you, Tetsuro. Special reminder, don't forget the poll. Okay, Uma says, I bought groceries. Good. Jane, first time. Oh, no. Well, thank you for being. We're almost finished, Jane. Thank you for being here. We're almost finished. So um, come back on Tuesday, 5 p.m. Japan time. I'm here three days a week. Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Fridays, 10 a.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. I live in Japan, so it is Japan time. 5 p.m. Japan time on Tuesdays. 10 a.m. Japan time on Friday mornings and 10 a.m. on Saturday mornings in Japan. Japan time. <laughs> Umesh says, I bought tomatoes at the market. It's true. <laughs> so a lot of times, you know, we're writing sentences, we're practicing. So, of course, it's not always true what you say, right? So maybe most of the things you're just practicing, right? It's not true. You are just practicing, and uh, Umesh says, I, I really did. It's true. I bought tomatoes at the market. <laughs> Very good. Oh, uh, Yule says, I bought tomatoes at the market on Monday. Yeah, so I think everyone likes tomatoes. Tomatoes are a perfect food, right? We can use tomatoes in soup. We can use tomatoes in salads. We can use tomatoes on hamburgers, on sandwiches, in pasta, on pizza. We can use tomatoes almost in anything. I think tomatoes are a perfect food. I love tomato soup. I love tomato juice. I love raw tomatoes, just eating a tomato like, a, like an apple. There are big tomatoes. There are small tomatoes. There are different color tomatoes. You have yellow tomatoes. You have orange tomatoes, red tomatoes. Tomatoes are fantastic. The perfect food. Okay. Okay, Nelson, correction. I bought some vegetables for my lunch. Good. Healthy lunch. Charlie, I bought some corn, okay, for my lunch. Okay, good, good. Okay, Francisca, thank you. Okay, we got to go. Oh, okay, so what time did you start? 10, we started, I started at 10, 10 a.m. So, okay, on Tuesdays, we do two hours. On Fridays, we do two hours. On Saturday, one hour. Okay. Oh, Hanen. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll be back on Tuesday. I'll be back on Tuesday. Katie. Okay, let's say goodbye together, shall we? Let, let's count down. And everyone have a great weekend. Yeah, it's, it's Saturday here in Japan. Um, everyone have fun. Be careful. Be safe. Smile, right? When you smile, everyone else smiles. And also when you smile, that means you're happy. 
And、um, when you're happy, you make other people happy. And when you're happy, you're healthy, right? So, anyway, so smile and be happy, make other people happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. All right, so let's count down together to the next time, right? Until Tuesday, December 13th. Yeah, December 13th. That will be our next live stream, 5 p.m. Japan time. Until then, take it easy, smile, be happy, stay healthy, be safe. Okay, let's count down to saying goodbye. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I love you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Smile. Yeah. And、um, stay healthy, everyone. Take it easy. Bye.